Welcome to Great Neighborhood Cooks. I'm your host, Rob Kircher. Each week, I'm going to be knocking on the doors of amazing cooks who live down the street or around the corner. Who knows, maybe from your own neighborhood. For the most part, they're unsung cooks known mainly to their family and friends. Or they might be cooks from that great little hideaway restaurant that we love to discover. Either way, the relative obscurity is about to change as I bring them into the spotlight. So who will be the next discovered Great Neighborhood Cook? Well, stay tuned to find out. So Dave, you're going to be making your marinade for the venison, right? Yes. And how are you going to do that? Can you show us? Well, it's just basically a soy sauce based marinade. Okay. And you uh, can start with uh, about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. Some soy sauce? So that's Twice a... as much soy sauce. So about a quarter of a cup of oil and a half a cup of soy. Okay. okay. A tablespoon or... Uh, Dijon. Mustard, Dijon, yep, nice. mustard, any mustard. But so how much of the Worcestershire are you put in? I'm going to put in a splash. A splash. Okay. Maybe a tablespoon. Yeah, a tablespoon yeah looks there. like. Yeah. Doesn't need a lot of yep. this. And then um, a couple of cloves of garlic. And it's rough cup because you're going to save it, right? Yes. And then I use the uh, immersion blender to. Um, yeah, uh oh. I almost forgot the most important uh, pepper. Got about a teaspoon of pepper. Yeah. Can't be too much pepper. But. I love pepper, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, you then this. Look at it. This homogenizes it so it doesn't break. And here we go. You could do this in a blender too if you don't have an immersion yeah. uh, handheld. The they are, yeah. Exactly what you're looking for. Okay. And that's it. That's your marinade. Okay. May I try it? Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Is it? Mm. I love the Worcestershire oh, wow. in it. Yeah. And then here is the victim, right? Yeah. Here's this the victim. is. Um, I like to marinate it overnight. And um, so this is the best that you actually shot, right? Yes. Okay. And uh, I like it in pieces that are can be cooked quickly on the grill. So the next thing is you're going to put this on the grill, right? Right. Okay. All right. Well, we'll watch that right now. Absolutely. That. Sure. So Dave, what's your technique in, uh, in actually uh, searing these? Um, well, with my new grill, I have a searing station, so what I like to do is put a char on the meat and then move it over to finish it on the, on the grill. Uh -huh. And you feel the heat coming oh, off boy, that? Oh boy, that is hot. Wow. There's no question about and it. And look at these beautiful cabinets. Oh, this is, are... What is this wood, Dave? Pecky Cypress. Pecky Cypress. It's wow. on the ceiling, too. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep. You're right. Now that's old growth, right, Dave? Yes. There was a tree probably four feet or bigger in diameter. Look how fast that you get a grill like that. I day. know. It's beautiful. Wow. It's a pretty fast cooking process, yeah. too, isn't it, Dave? You like it more on the rare side? Yes. Um, venison is much better tender. Rare. Yeah, it's got very little fat content. That's so, right, it's yeah. a healthy meat, it's very yeah, lean. Absolutely. It's like uh, elk or something like that, you know? Yeah, the elk is a deer too. Yeah. I think Sherry's making a salad course with some of Dave's venison sausage, mm. so we'll get to take wow. a look at that next. So now you've turned off that searing station and you're just going to let it roast yeah, uh, for a little bit? Now I noticed you got about, about 275. What well, we just closed that. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. it was open. So yeah. It'll show you. What would be your optimum temperature that you'd like to have in there? Uh, well, it depends on what I'm doing. Um, usually, I let it get preheated to about 400 degrees. Okay. Before I start All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, we're going to take yeah. a break right now, and we're going to be back. We're going to uh, obviously see what the finishing power. 
you know, results of your, of your amazing medicine. But we're going to catch up with Sherry, too, in the kitchen, uh, where she's going to be actually doing some wonderful sausage in a cast iron. Yeah, uh, and, and a fabulous and cake. So we'll be right back. <laughs>